everybody. I'm sorry I'm a couple of days late this time in my post. I just wanted to start today with another tip for communication. And hi, Jimmy, good to see you. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more about communication skills and tips. I talked about that a couple of weeks ago. This week, I'm going to talk to you about the mind reading myth. And this is a two-way myth. It's one is don't ask and the other one's don't tell. The first part of the mind reading myth is when we assume we know what somebody else is thinking. And we usually assume something negative when it's particularly toxic to our relationship with that person and how well that communication process is going to go. First of all, you can't always know um, what someone's thinking based on their expressions. Someone could be tired, they could be feeling bad, they could be sick, and you don't know what they just went through earlier in that day or that week. If someone's grieving a loss, they're not going to appear happy, but that may not have anything to do with you. So if you don't ask how someone's doing or why they seem to not be feeling well, you're not going to be able to know for sure. And if someone is not responding the way you hoped, to a particular message you've given them or an opportunity that you've given them, you need to ask. Always ask for somebody to tell you what they're thinking, how they're feeling, and what's going on. The more clearly you communicate, the more effective it's going to be. That should go without saying, but we do it all the time. We make assumptions based on what we think we see. The second part of that is assuming other people know what you're thinking. My favorite example of this is in spouse relationships, romantic relationships. They should know what I want for Christmas. They should know what I want for my birthday because they should just know me. Well, they don't know what you want unless you tell them. They're never going to know what you want unless you tell them. They don't know what you expect them to do around the house unless you tell them. So the more clearly you can communicate, the less you can have disappointments in your relationships. And that goes with... That goes with any relationship, even in business, um, in partnerships, um, any kind of community relationships. Um, <laughs> depends on who's cleaning the house well, Jimmy. Not always women don't always do it well, and it depends on who's at home during the day. So sometimes we have to work on communicating what we expect and communicating what we're willing to do. And that is, that is very, um, that's funny. That's my mother telling Jimmy to go away about women uh, should always do the cleaning. That's pretty funny. So always communicate what you expect, what you want, and what you're willing to do, and what you're not willing to do. Be clear. Set boundaries. Uh, make sure that you tell people what you're thinking, if it's appropriate, if it's not appropriate, you should not tell people what you're thinking, but tell them what you need to know to make that communication clear. So in business, in personal relationships, you should always ask, you should always tell in order to make the communication smoother and clearer. The clearer that you can possibly be, the better the relationship's going to go. If someone knows what to get you for Christmas, you're more likely to get something that you want for Christmas, um, and then you won't be disappointed. And it, it isn't just about Christmas gifts. It's about what kind of expectations you have in that relationship. You can't just assume people should read your mind. Nobody can do that. So the mind reader myth, one of the great double-sided hazards in relationships, and that's personal, business, any kind of relationship you have, always be clear. And that's all I've got for you today. I hope you have a fantastic day and a great rest of your week.